Hello! Microsoft Excel has two new data types. One is stock and the other is geography. I've covered geography in another video, so I'm going to do stock tonight. These are known as linked data types. And I'll show you what a linked data type is. So I'm going to go, I've got Excel running, I'm going to type in the word stock and make it bold. And then I'm going to start listing some companies. Microsoft, Dell, GE, one more, let's do Ford. This next step is not required, but I'm about to convert these to stocks. And then I'm going to pull the price, the previous price, 52-week uh, high, 52-week low, number of employees. I've got all kind of information to get. The step that's not required, but I recommend is you convert this to a table. On the keyboard is Control-T, Create Table, click OK. It is now a table. I'll show you why I did that in one second. Let's go make these stocks though. Data, data types, those are the two new linked data types. And by linked, I mean they're linked to some other source to get their information. In the video I did on geography, I pulled in all 50 states, just their abbreviations. Then I said go make it geography. I found the capital, the number of the population. Uh, so that's the geography one. When I hit stock, watch what happens in column A. There you go. It went and found a source, pulled in their stock symbols. Uh, while I'm over here in column A, I have add column. And I believe I said I want to know the price. Look at some of the information that you have in here, the number of employees, their headquarters, high, low, but there is price. Perfect. Add a column. Previous close. Excellent. Uh, if you notice, I'm just picking on them. Microsoft is in row 2. 141.03, 141.34. That's 31 cents. It's a decrease. So let me see if I can find that. Probably change. There it is. I'm not going to do it, but there's change percentage. Let's go pull in the headquarters. So there you go. All kind of information with the stock data type. If you're wondering why did you make this a table, a range would have worked. I'm going to put in GM, Toyota. So it keeps populating the table when I add a new row. If I had a range, it would not do that. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm trying to keep this short. It's at three minutes. Thank you for your time.